What is up, obscure Mike people? Bark coming at you with an obscure one today. Super duper freaking obscure. And it is the Nady SPC-10. This is one of those microphones that took me a really long time to acquire. And then once I acquired it, it took me a really long time to remember to do the video. But luckily... Uh, Bandrew over at the podcastage, I think he calls it the podcastage. No, Bandrew at podcastage. He did a video. I think it was. I think it was some. It was a handheld condenser, I believe. And he reminded me that I had this Nady SPC10, which is. Let me just show you real quick, and then I'll do a little camera shot here. Hold on. That, my friends, was a large diaphragm capsule inside of the Nady SPC-10. Now let me show you the mic uh, in, in a little more detail. Has a low-pass filter, SPC-10 condenser, XLR, big head basket. Just a, yeah, really obscure one. I didn't even bother doing like better audio because it was only going to take a couple seconds. But this thing is a beast of a microphone. It, it Really cool. This is one of those ones it took me so long to find that I doubt I ever give it up. I'll probably Rick Astley this bitch for the rest of my life. It, everything Rick Astley said is how I feel about this microphone. Because A, I think it sounds pretty good. Does it sound overly harsh? It's not anything like super freaking special or anything like that, but it's a handheld condenser that sounds like a, what, maybe a couple hundred dollar condenser. It sounds like that, but in handheld, very portable form. And that capsule, that, that's, a, that's a nice looking capsule. It's nice looking. Let's do some tests. First, we'll do plosives. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled, hmm. Peter Piper picked a pair. You're definitely going to want to windy it. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled pineapple pizza. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled pineapple pizza. That definitely slows the terribleness from the plosives, but they're still pickly there. Ooh, I threw a big one in. Now when you get right on top of the microphone this is what it sounds like when you're right on top of the nady spc 10 this is what that sounds like let's do handling noise not that bad for a large diaphragm condenser i was uh checking out another microphone i won't talk about it right now by the way keep in mind channel members get these videos days sometimes weeks before others just a perk of being a channel member whether you supported a dollar 99 or 4.99 it's just a perk uh the 4.99 tier what do they get extra i'm working on that but i'm trying to do more live streams which is the podcast you also get a podcast i have not been consistent with it i'm trying to do better i'm trying to do better but anyways you can get these videos early just for being a channel member that being said let's go ahead and do off axis rejection I'll also mess with the filter in just a minute so talking into the front of the microphone now we're going to go 90 degrees off axis rejection not bad for a condenser 180 degrees off axis rejection 90 degrees and back around to the front of the microphone and if you do think that this is a little too bottom heavy which i don't i think it's got quite a nice mix of bottom and top and the the mids maybe a little scooped but not not anything crazy i think it's a pretty pretty balanced sounding microphone for a handheld condenser let's go ahead and turn on that filter i do hate this part about it it is one of those that uh i need something to stick in there that's you know what she said she said stick it in there so i stuck it in there i pushed real hard and I got the result that I was looking for. This is the uh, high pass filter, which takes a lot of the low end away, but not anything aggressive. This is, yeah, this is not a bad one. Maybe an 80 hertz low pass. 
I don't know. I don't have the spec sheet here, but let's go back. This is the high pass. With Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pineapple pizza. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pineapple pizza. That helps the plosives out considerably. Let's put this on. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pineapple pizza. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pineapple pizza. So you throw that high pass filter on, and that really helps the plosives. So if you're a close talker, you can still get some warmth and good uh, overall tone out of this microphone but you will not pop the microphone as bad you will not pop it nearly as bad that's pretty good but now we're back in flat mode so we'll have to be careful not to pop the microphone now but again uh i don't remember what i paid for this i'm pretty sure it was over 100 bucks because i had never seen one i think one time i saw one for sale overseas on like a music website and it was just too much it was like it was a couple hundred bucks I wasn't willing to pull the trigger. I was like, good things come to those who wait. And then eventually I think I maybe like maybe a buck oh five, like maybe one oh five, one ten, something like that. And I have been uh, really happy with it ever since. Not that I've done anything with it. I've had it for like two freaking years, but I'm happy with it now that I can hear it in my headphones yet again. And it's super obscure. Good luck finding it. If you do find it, let me know. We can we can rub rub them together and ha have a good time with them. But Nady SPC-10 is out of here. I'm done. I'm not going to give it a BB SAR because it's just not fair to try to say, oh, I'm going to give this thing a high score and you'll never find it. That's not cool. That's not cool at all. So we'll just go out saying, cool, obscure Mike. If you find it, friggin' hit me up. If you already have one, friggin' hit me up because I think it's a super cool microphone don't even really hear a lot of self noise but i am also recording it into the cad connect cx1 and it, it just this is a banger of a handheld condenser for the price especially considering it's obscure obscure mics i'll see you guys on the next one peace out